I don't know if you're familiar with the expression, the difference between men and boys is the price of their toys, or sometimes it's said the size of their toys. Well, I have something today that might just change both of those theories. The Tello by Rise. So I've kind of always wanted a drone, I've just never been able to really afford one. And when my wife happened to see one at a store in the clearance section, I, I just I couldn't pass it up. I had to go ahead and do it. It's something that was going to be hopefully useful in my arsenal for doing YouTube videos. And at the price point, I really couldn't beat it. The, the Rise Tello lists anywhere from $99 to $140, sometimes $150 to $160. Um, and that, that's for the, the boost combo. And the boost combo comes with three total battery packs, the drone, and a charger. It also comes with extra propellers and a tool to remove that propeller. This one happened to be in the clearance, so I got the boost combo for $100. There's a lot of really good to, to say about this. There's some bad things too though. And I'll get into the good and the bad as we go along. Kind of go over the specs on it though this drone weighs about 90 grams which is well under any kind of faa regulation so you don't have to worry about doing any licenses or things like that you do want to check in to see where it's actually legal to fly drones there are some places that you are just not allowed to fly them period regardless of size the dimensions are 98 by 92.5 by 41 millimeters so this thing is really really tiny as you can see it's a great little size the propellers are about three inches each motor is a brushed motor so it's not a brushless technology which would be better and better for flight times but for a small package like this and to keep it cost efficient I'm sure that's why they went with brushed which you'll see that brushed is just fine it also comes with a rangefinder, barometer, an LED light, vision system, 2.4 gigahertz on the Wi-Fi, and it does have a camera. It's a 720p camera, so not really the best camera, but it will shoot in 720p high def, which is pretty good, really, for $100. There is no gimbal whatsoever in these, but it does have auto stabilization, which really does kind of help clear out the picture a lot. The maximum flight distance on this is 100 meters from you. I'm, what I've kind of found though is that it's 100 meters circumference around you. So there's some discrepancy on how much distance you can actually fly these and the the distance in height is only about 30 meters now i did watch a youtube video one time that 
said that there was an update to the app that would allow you to fly 90 meters high 90 meters high I think it was 90 meters high I think so and up to 150 meters if I'm remembering right in distance from you so it was actually doubling the distance or yeah my math is bad on this you'll see you'll see that it has sensors down below so it does have sensors but the only sensors it has are those it can't detect something that's in its way so you've got to fly around everything um, bigger more expensive drones have multiple sensors on the bottom sensors on the front the back the sides the top everywhere and those are the drones that will just basically let you fly in and around trees and pretty much anything you want but they're a lot more money the max speed that this will fly is eight meters per second so it's not the fastest drone but for something so small you'll lose it pretty quick at that speed the batteries are an 1100 milliamp battery at 3.8 volts and as far as the photos go uh, it will take JPEG and MP4 video but there is no SD card slot so anything that you do has to be recorded directly to your phone now how is that you say if you don't know anything about these kind of drones this drone is what they call an FPV F P V that means first person view I know if you know it already then just skip ahead a little bit but what this drone is, is it's controlled by the Wi-Fi of your cell phone and that's how you control it the app has everything on it and I'll kind of show you here somewhere in the video the actual on-screen app that I use here's where the bad thing comes in when I first bought this I was okay with it being you know a no controller that you use your phone and an app and I didn't have a problem with that but we happened to be at dinner and I downloaded the app while we were sitting there waiting for our food it wouldn't even open and I'm like what's the deal here why why won't this even open so while I'm eating dinner I did some research and found out that they haven't supported the app for upwards of two years for any of the newer phones well I've got a Google Pixel 2 XL and didn't even work on that phone so I just I was completely irritated took it home did some more research and I found a demo but it was just a demo I couldn't really do anything except take off and land I could go left right but not much more than that and it was really disappointing then I found the full version of it that's where the next bad thing is you have to pay for this other version it is the Tello FPV app and again like I said you have to pay for it but they also have another one that is a follow me and you can download that one as well and you have to use them separately they don't integrate but the the Tello app even though you have to pay for it gives you the full version and within this you have different preset modes and those include a 360 so it'll fly out from you and then circle around you while video recording you it'll also do flips both front back side pretty much anything you want it to do when it comes to flips there's some other presets and I haven't played with all of them but there's another one that's called Drony and it just lowers itself down to just slightly off the ground and then takes a path away from you so that's another really cool one for cinematic stuff 
there's some others in there and I'll play with those more and you'll probably see those in the cinematics as I start using this drone a little bit more. It's really, really useful. Is it the best drone? No, but for a hundred bucks, it's pretty fun. I'm going to continue to use this drone just for the simple fact that I need to learn how to fly a drone before I spend four or five fifteen hundred dollars or more on a drone because these things are pricey and I'll show you from the app go to tele FPV there you have your left and right controls up down this will be your forward and back and your pan left and right in this section you'll see circle lock drony boomerang that was the one orbit 360 and this also does have headless modes and flip buttons headless mode is basically for somebody who doesn't know how to control an rc very well um, it will always be forward for forward basically is the simple way to put it um, so you can do it'll it'll teach you how to learn a little quicker on how how to fly a drone also if you push and hold which would be the the land button here where takeoff is push and hold that it'll give you the option to do a hand landing so it will find your hand and land in it You've got virtual reality. You've got your settings for your camera exposure. You've got video and camera, and that will record or take a picture. You've also got all of your information down here below that's gonna tell you how high, how far, and even if you're using a controller or your cell phone, and even your cell phone battery percentage, which is pretty cool. Some of the downsides also to this is that if you're expecting a very long runtime, well, you can forget that. It says it's got a 13 minute runtime. I was getting anywhere from nine to 11 minutes, which honestly isn't bad. But if you're going to get this, I highly suggest you get the boost combo. It gives you those three battery packs. So you'll get approximately 30 minutes of runtime give or take but it's the best way to go even though it's a little more expensive it's better to buy it in the combo buying that stuff separately is going to cost you a lot more money so take that for what it's worth also don't forget to like this video share it if you want to and subscribe to my channel i've got a lot more stuff i want to do and i want you guys to be a part of it and not miss a single one so again thanks everybody have a good day.